So a provisional ballot is if your name doesn't show up on any of our lists anywhere, either in our voter registration system or on the electronic poll list, list that's at the precinct, but you feel that you rightfully registered in a timely manner, then you're allowed to cast a provisional ballot. So it is a paper ballot, and as part of that process, you have to fill out a voter registration form. You have to say when and where you think you registered, and then three days after the election, the board certifies those provisional ballots as far as which ones to count and which ones not to count. Um, if you were registered in Alabama and you say, well, I never intended to register in Georgia, that would be an obvious ballot that the board would recommend not counting. Mm -hmm. But, you know, if it's just, you know what, I couldn't make it across town at 658 to my other precinct, but I stopped here because I wanted to vote, then the board in all likelihood would recommend counting that ballot. When you're coming here to vote, you would need, or at the precinct, you would need some government approved or gov government issued identification. So passport, Georgia driver's license, even if it is expired, we will accept a Georgia driver's license, an out of state driver's license, a military ID. Um, there are a variety of identifications that are, are allowed, but typically they have to be government issued. And that includes a, a student ID from a, a state sponsored school.